Welcome to Electra Online. Here we're going to review the energy laws in an underdamped system. Again, we have a mass that's suspended from a spring. It's oscillating up and down with simple harmonic motion, except it's also damped, which means that the motion will slowly diminish over time. Now, how do we calculate the energy laws in a system like that? Again, we start with the differential equation, including the damping factor. And notice here that B is equal to 2M times the omega sub D, where omega sub D is the damping uh, frequency, or I should say the, the angular frequency. And also notice that the damping force is always going to be equal to B, the constant times the velocity. So what we expect is that the most energy will be lost when the velocity is greatest. So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the change in energy over time from this equation. So what we're going to do uh, related to this equation, not from that equation, but related to the equation. So we're going to take the derivative with respect to time of the kinetic energy and the derivative with respect to time of the potential energy. And notice we get this equation. Then we rearrange the terms a little bit. Then we can factor out an m times dx dt. We end up with this. But notice that this is essentially the first term and the third term in our differential equation, where omega sub naught squared is simply k over m. So that means that this is equal to the negative of this as we move to the right side of the equation. So we can then plug that in right there. And so now we have m dx dt times this component with a negative sign since we move to the right. And then when we cancel out the m's and we multiply this times this, that gives us dx dt squared. And of course, dx dt is velocity. So it turns out that the change in energy per unit time is equal to negative the damping constant times the velocity squared. And then if you realize that the force time, the force, the damping force is equal to b times v, if we factor out b times v, it's simply negative the damping force times the velocity. So what that means is, that as this thing is oscillating back and forth, that we have maximum energy loss when the velocity is greatest, when the, when the object moves through the equilibrium point. And even though we have drawn it as a diminishing sine or cosine curve, in this case sine curve, you can see that uh, we want to take the absolute value of this because it doesn't matter if we move to the left or the right, the energy is lost anytime there is velocity regardless of the direction. So the red line here simply describes relative to the black line, which of course gives you position as a function of time. The red line gives you the energy loss per unit time, which is relative to this equation right here. And that is how it's done.